today. From Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is the NFL on EA Sports. and the Green Bay Packers taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. Fielded right around the eight. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Cowboys take the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. And Dak going to start out going to the air. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Throwing, Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a different been a story. long night. Another tackle there by Chris Barnes. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, Elliott once more. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. 
Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Dalton Schultz really built on his 2020 when he sees the Cowboys starting job in 2021. 78 catches were third in the league for tight ends. He's locked himself in as one of the Cowboys' main pieces on offense. They'll go to him every chance they get when he makes first down catches like that. A first down carry by Elliott. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. Pass complete, it's to Ezekiel Elliott, his running back. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Facing a second and six from the eight. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. His pass caught at the four. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up third and one. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On third and one, here's Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Now Prescott on fourth down. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A three-yard touchdown. Taking the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. And Jonathan Garibay out for the PAT. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown from CeeDee Lamb. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Leading the Packers offense out here, the same man who has been doing so since 2008. That's the great Aaron Rodgers. Even as he nears age 40, Aaron Rodgers' game 
isn't taking a single backward step. He became only the fourth player to win back-to-back -back MVP awards and led Green Bay to its third straight 13-win season. He avoids turnovers better than anyone in football the quarterback position. And Green Bay, they are always a front runner with him under center. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. He'll take this to the 46. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Sports. On second and seven, Rodgers. They find Randall Cobb with a completion. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. And now it's second down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Check, check back, check back, Throwing now is Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. And again, it's Rodgers. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And he's going to have the Packers. First down is this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. On first down. Buying time to his left. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. 
I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. A nice little juke. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Here's Rodgers. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Throwing is Rodgers. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. Jones is in. Touchdown, Packers. So the previous pass interference call put the ball at the one-yard line, and then they stick it in on the very next play. And I love the play call right there. After you get the pass interference call, you've got a defense that's discombobulated a little bit, right? They are they're protesting the call, upset about what happened. Go right at them. Run the football, and the defense acquiesces, and the ball ends up in the end zone. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. had it each team has scored 7-7 here as the kicks away Pollard elects to keep it and this will come out to the 25 yard line second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys so both of these teams Charles coming off touchdowns now but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but... It shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. 
He's a tough guy to stop. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw is Prescott. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Solid coverage on the play by Devondre Campbell. I have a few questions about that throw because to me there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Rodgers now to throw. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back and you end up getting the first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tanya. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Rodgers now on first down. sack now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half now following the sack they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17 from midfield here's Rodgers and this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Boy, that completion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Rodgers. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground.
So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed but they're all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score from the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And he's going to go down again. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He'll complete this one to Watson. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave him with a third and five. Needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards, first down, Packers. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. Rodgers. That's complete to Kyle. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. Oh, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 
good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Dylan now on first and 10. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Rodgers to throw. He sets up the screen to Jones. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. Neville Gallimore on the stop. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing on second and eight. Rodgers, and that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. And this one will be a 29-yard attempt. The kick by Crosby is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. They don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. 
And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave it with a second and just a few inches left. Second and inches. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Inside give to Elliott. D-tackle there to make the stop. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, hey, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Prescott. Now he's flushed out right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. Hartney sold the goal route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're gonna sell the go, just go and let's see who's faster. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They keep on the ground with Elliott. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field, but his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards on the play there. The Cowboys have a first down. This has been a good drive so far. And it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone.
Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Tenth carry now for Elliott. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Elliott. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. And that's knocked away and incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Jonathan Garibay out there now, and this is a big pressure spot. This is a 27-yard attempt here. Garibay's kick is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. Now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now they get ready to head back on the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now Rodgers. Forced out to his left, finding Watkins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Rodgers to throw. Able to find Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. Going to get this up to midfield. First down now, but that clock rolling. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. 
Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He's got Elliott. And not a whole lot there. Maybe three yards on first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Coming up on second and seven. Here's Dak. To the right side and complete to Washington. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Now Dak. Being chased out left. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Locked on Jonathan Garibay in a huge spot here. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This from 55 yards out. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. a big time work yourself in position to win the game but the kick winds up no good and now you've got to regroup as a team get the energy back up and get ready for overtime and make sure you pump him up too he may be needed to try and win it again later and a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield so the game will continue for at least one more play. Could not finish a game on a defensive penalty. That's why they get one more untimed attempt. And Crosby's kick is good. The veteran Mason Crosby comes through like he's done so many times before. And there'll be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there to ask for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. They said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. Charles.